I've stayed in education for 29 years because I live for change. I had a professor, Rosemary Mannering. She said, you should be a teacher. From her, I decided to go down the teaching road. She really made me realize the power of teaching and education. And when I graduated, she asked me to send children to her thinking critically. What I found at St. Rose in the early 90s was a great level of integrity. St. Rose gives a foundation. It's how you choose to build on that foundation that defines you as an educator. I started at Arbor Hill. I spent eight years teaching third grade. After Arbor Hill, I went over to TOAST, which is the science and technology school. That was 15 years. Towards the end of that, I went into second grade at TOAST, just trying the primary level. My favorite time is our department meetings, where there are nine of us, and eight out of the nine people are graduates from St. Rose. Talking theory and practice and data and analysis and the best practice is always the foundation of our conversations. When my students come back, they all say, you were tough, and I say, no, I was stern. <laughs> There's a big clarification there. And then they tell me they've gone to college or they started a business. This morning, greeting children coming in, a new social worker started. She said to me, excuse me, are you Mrs. Ellis? And I said, yes, I am. And she said, you taught my daughter at Toast. And I said, oh my goodness, what's her name? Her name's Unique. And I'm like, Unique, I remember Unique. What is she doing? She's in college to become a social worker. Those moments when you touch someone's life that makes being an educator priceless. I never thought in my life I would ever leave the classroom because to me the greatest honor is to be a classroom teacher in education. I will always stay close to the Albany City School District. Our teachers have so much responsibility placed upon them to have an extra hand as a volunteer who has vast experiences which could help them. And if I can do that, then I've made a difference. And that's part of St. Rose being part of that community difference.